off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay so I am headed to church alone today <laughs> actually kind of nice to just get ready for myself but when I realized late last night that I was gonna be going alone I had my hair prepped last night um, to have my hair straightened and done this morning for church I always like it because then it's straight and nice for a few days in the first part of the week but Jason now has the cold that Kaylee and Abby had actually Kaylee is still sick um, so Jason has it now. He came home and went almost straight to bed. Um, he did not go and do the haunted forest like he was supposed to. Um, he's like, I'm not going to stand in the rain and the cold and the dark. Um, it's just going to make this worse and I need to be able to work next week. So, um, when I realized he wasn't going to go and, um, Abby had hung out with Kaylee last night. I'm like, she's going to get this cold. So I just left everyone in bed. So I left Ashley at home for kind of a different reason. Um, let me park the car here at church and then I will, I wanted to talk about that for a split second here real quick. I'm gonna make sure I get a good parking spot at church and then I wanna make sure I get in a good, get a good seat. Um, and then, but we'll chat here before I go in because I came early on purpose so I could chat with you guys. Got a good parking spot. So, um, I wanted to talk about mental health just a smidge and I won't discuss the details of our hard day yesterday with Ashley only to describe that I realized after probably five hours of complete meltdown that Ashley had missed her medication the night before so it had been I did the math last night in the middle of the night she had gone 40 plus hours or so um, without medication because she takes it at night so she had, anyway she didn't tell me that she had run out because um, she she's been able to explain to me now that when she isn't taking the medication she gets forgetful which is really interesting um, and so she forgot to tell me that she had run out and that's an unfortunate side effect I usually have well, I did, I usually have a very good sense of how many pills she has left. I knew, I counted them right after we got home from Hawaii. She has 10 pills left. Make sure she has a refill ready to go with CVS. And I didn't. Right then, I didn't. I'm like, oh, she's got 10 pills. I've got a couple days. The problem is, for whatever reason, and I have talked to the pharmacist, I've talked to a nurse helpline for the pediatrician's office, I've talked to the pediatrician over the phone and in office and over a virtual call for all the behavior help appointments she's had, but also with this issue of this prescription not being filled automatically. For the past six months, I have had to manually call or get the pharmacy to call or call a helpline, call the nurse, call the pediatrician. Like I've had to manually request a refill on a behavior health medication for a 10 year old every single month. Something that should be an auto refill. It literally says on her bottle auto refill. And every time I call, yeah, it's in her chart as an auto refill. I don't know why you're having to call and get, you know, request a refill. I don't either except yesterday in the parking lot in front of Hobby Lobby, we had an absolute meltdown and both of us, to be fair, and I had to quickly call one. That's when I discovered at three in the afternoon that she wasn't, didn't have the medication. I, I it kind of like dawned on me earlier in the day, but it's a trigger for her and she realizes, and we've had a conversation, if I mention, have you taken your medication? That's also a trigger, whether she has or not. So I have to be careful with that statement. Usually I just do my own investigative work, but we weren't going to be home. She was going to cheer and we were going to be gone for the next four hours. So I had to leave a message on a Saturday for the pediatrician's office. They're not going to get this message until Monday morning, even though I left an emergency message on the behavior health line, which should have more of a 
like around the clock, you know, contact with. But who knows? I don't know if they're going to call me today or not, but, um, she didn't have medication again last night. And I'm like, I am not touching that with a 10 foot pole. She's going to sleep in. Um, she's going to rest today. She has a play date tomorrow because she doesn't have school. But I just, it's, I'm just so frustrated because we have all the help and medication she needs. And yet the stupid system won't put the refill in. <laughs> There's my friend that I play games with. He's just smiling at me because I'm sitting in my car um, with my camera. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed doing it in front of him because he knows what I do. But um, it's just frustrating that, like, she has to pay the consequences for this system that's just broken to be able to get her her medication. And I told the parent of her play date, I was like, I don't know if she's going to be able to play Monday morning. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this medication Saturday, Sunday, Monday morning. I don't know. And I have an appointment at 10 myself and so I Jason could go get the medication and take it to her but like it's just it's so real it's so um obvious to us now that the medication was the right route because of how quickly it doesn't work when you're not taking it like how quickly her body reacts to not being on it um and how well she does when she's on it like it's it's Yes, she has her bad days. Yes, she can be sassy with us on other days, but it's just so obvious and it's so frustrating. So she went into her cheer game yesterday afternoon. It was, it was the latest, you know, cheer football game that she, that is on the schedule. We didn't get done until 7 p.m. And uh, she was tired. She had a headache. Um, it was, she was just worn out. While I go to church, you can watch her little performances. She did a great job. It was supposed to be her last game, but then they decided to have every cheer squad cheer for any team that is in the playoffs, and they're just going to share the playoff games over the next couple weeks, and ours is next week. So we get one more game, and then she's done with this squad, and we can focus on the other squad that she's on. She's actually on three different squads with the other group. So I'm going to head into church and you watch this. They're, they're already texting her, but I'm like, you don't put your iPad by your bed. You need to sleep in. Like I, I say, Ashley's friends are texting that, that, and this obviously doesn't have the notifications turned off. So I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> I'm going to church. Ashley B, Ashley L, Ashkin, Isla, Bristol, Ella, Georgiana, Imogen, Layla, and Mabel, Mia, Renaya, and Sadie.
is just resting today, right? You taking a day off? You want to show them what you did? You wrapped up all your friends' gifts, right? After a multiple try. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. That's how you learn how to do little weird, awkward shapes. That's why I use gift bags. Yep, they like to lay in front of the fire, huh? Your back hurts. You've been having dad massage your back, huh? And we've been playing lazy. I took a nap and then we watched the Seahawk game. And so now I'm ready to take off my makeup. But I thought I would just keep chatting with you a little bit while I have my makeup on. I just, I just really want it off. And I want my hair done. I want my hair braided. Will you come braid my hair, Ash? But we're truly taking a lazy day today. Um, Seahawks won. So that was fantastic. And uh, just gearing up for another week. Jason has been doing orders all day long. Um, I think they're fall 2024 orders, I believe. And then like regular orders for whatever he needs now. So he's been off and on doing that all day long. And Abby came home from work and Kaylee went to work. So anyway, we're just kind of being lazy. It's the day I just let myself like take a rest. Um, I did put in a target order. I needed a few things. Um, today, or I wanted a few things today, and then I kind of felt guilty, and I wasn't going to go pick it up until tomorrow, or I, I just didn't feel like going out, and then um, I remembered Abby was coming home from work, and so it was really perfect timing. She went and picked it up for me. So I'm just taking advantage of not having to do anything. I've been doing laundry. I have a little bit left to do. It just feels nice. It's not rainy. It's not cold. It's just overcast out there. Um, it just feels nice to just not feel obligated to do anything. So, not much going on over here. Alright, so Dana has made a nice little orange chicken with some rice. We really, really like it. It's good. I have been up doing some work, watching shows, trying to lay low, just so I don't get it kicked into a bad cold. But we are about to watch, I'm about to get back in the good light. We are about to watch uh, Sister Wives. Here, this is a good episode from what Dana says. So Dana's chilling on the couch. Some sneak, sneak peeks. So. Oh, she t she TikToks the crap out of this and gets a bunch of sneak peeks. <laughs> <laughs> right, TikTok. I yeah. I don't mean to. I don't look for it. It finds me. All right, it finds you. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what great quotes uh, Cody comes up with this week. Um, Otherwise, it's gonna be end of our night. So short night. Otherwise, yeah, short night, short day. I'm not you can't tell if I'm like being a hypochondriac or not. Okay. Or if I'm worried about getting what everyone else has. She doesn't want to be on camera, but she's not, not sure whether she's getting a cold. That's what I was kind of battling with. But, um. More like you just. Anyways, we will just to. see how the sister wives go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. If anything big happens, we'll add it on to the end. But otherwise, you comment. Never say that. You're the only one who ever says what? subscribe. What? Subscribe, weird. click the bell, yeah. comment, all that stuff. It helps. So, anyways, I am begging. Show Ashley. She's cute. Yeah, Ashley's looking cute over there. Dana's right me. here. Oh, oh, gotta go past Dana. There's Ashley over there looking cute, and we're all set with sister wives ready to go. Yeah. So leave your sister wives comments below because it's always interesting. We get a little chat going on. There's Cody. There's Cody. Hashtag sister wives. <laughs> Hashtag it's right there. And his new wedding I ring. See. Oh, yes. Yeah. I just can't wait it's to see the other two rings wise. drop. Yes. I really want that, and, you know, I want that to happen. It'll be exciting. Bing! Bing! <laughs> bing! <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs>